Thank you, my people. I am Tutor Cletus Okoli, your math tutor. In today's math class, we want to take the pictures from the topic number basis. We have taken two questions that can be exam or test questions. I want to look at it. So, let us solve number one. It is not going to take your time. Watch the video till the end. Within four minutes, we should be done with the video. Thank you. Number one, we are given 20 base n equal to 10, 100 base 2. First and foremost, this is in base n. We don't know what n is and we are required to find the value of n. Y by my right hand side is in base 2. We are going to convert both sides, the right hand side and the left hand side, to base 10 in order to understand what the value of n should be. Therefore, to do that, I assign 0 to first digit and 1 to the second digit. The same thing by the right hand side, starting from the right, I assign digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the approach that we can take to convert it to base 10. Therefore, from the left, I have 2, the first digit, multiplied by the base n raised to power 1, plus 0, the second digit, multiplied by the base n raised to power 0. It is equal to, coming to the right hand side, the first digit is 1, multiplied by the base, which is 2, raised to power 4, the digit, then next is 0, of course it will give us 0, but we have to work out everything. Then multiply by the base, raised to power 3, plus 1, multiply by the base, raised to power 2, plus 0, it will give us 0 as the end, multiply by 2 raised to power 1, and lastly 0 times the base raised to power 0. Therefore, from here, n raised to power 0 is, n raised to power 1 is equal to n. And 2 times n will give me 2n. Plus, z n raised to the power 0 is 1 times 0 is 0. Equal to 1 times 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. Plus 0, 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. Then, plus 1, 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. Plus 0, 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. Then, plus 0, 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. So this is going to give us 2n plus 0 is 2n equal to 1 times 16 is 16 and 0 times 8 is 0, 1 times 4 is 4 and then 0 times 2 is 0, again 0 times 1 is 0. Beautiful. Therefore we can now have 2n equal to 16 plus 4 which is 20 and we can now conclude that the value of n is 20 divided by 2. That is dividing both sides by 2, which is equal to 10. We can simply say that n is equal to 10, meaning that this 20 actually is given to us in base 10. We are asked by the right hand side, it is given to us in base 2. But having converted both of them to base 10, we have actually seen that the value of n is 10. Then, we want to take the second question which is given to us as number 2, 121 base 3, okay, is equal to 100 base n. We are also required to find the value of n. Shortly after now, we will be through. We do the same thing that we did in number 1, and that is converting the both sides to base 10. So we convert this 1, 2, 1, base 3 to base 10, and we convert also 1, 0, 0, base n to base 10. Doing that, like I did in the first one, starting from the right hand side, I assign digits to the power to the powers 1, 0, 1, 2. Doing the same thing here, 0, 1, 2. Beautiful. I begin to take the values, the first digit is 1, times the base, which is 3 raised to power 2, 
plus the second digit is given to me as 2 multiplied by the base which is 3 raised to the power 1 lastly the third digit is 1 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 0 it is equal to 1 times n to the right hand side taking the first digit then raised to the power 2 plus 0 times n raised to the power 1 plus 0 times n raised to the power 0 if we have now expressed it next is 1 times 3 raised to the power 2 will give us 9 plus 2 then 3 raised to the power 1 will give us 3 plus 1 3 raised to the power 0 will give us uh, 1 of course then 1 n raised to the power 2 will still give us n raised to the power 2 plus 0 times of course let us understand that 0 multiply any number will give us 0, be it a number, be it a 0. So we can simply say 0 times n raised to the power 1 is 0, and 0 times n raised to the power uh, 0 will still give us 0, okay? Therefore, we can now say that 1 times 9 is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1, all equal to 1 times n raised to the power 2 will give us n raised to the power 2, of course, plus 0 will still give us n raised to the power 2. We can now add the left hand side to get 9 plus 6, which is 15 plus 1, and that will give us 16 equal to n raised to the power 2. Therefore, to get the value of n, we now say n is equal to the square root of 16, meaning that the square root of 16 is actually equal to 4. In conclusion, the value of n is 4. Therefore, the question now is telling us that what we have actually have by the right hand side is the 100 base 4. That is the value of n will be 4. We are asked by the right hand side what we what we, that is by the left hand side what we have is 121 that is 121 base 3. Thank you for listening to this video and watching it to the end. If this is your first time of coming by, please subscribe to my channel as a way of supporting me. I remain to talk to Sukoli, your master talk. God bless you.